Hi, my name is Darren. I've been cabin crew for Thomas Cook Airlines for just under 10 years now. So we've got 90 minutes to report for any duty that we've got and we need to live within a 90 minute radius so it makes commuting to our workplace um, easy. One thing that you've got to take into consideration is the traffic on the road, whether it's rush hour, because at the end of the day we need to make sure our aircraft leave on time so we need to be at work on time. So a, a usual routine is once the alarm clock goes, and the alarm clock can go at 2.30 in the morning, 3 a.m. I need to get up no matter what time of the day it is, um, shower, make sure that I'm fully groomed and ready um, and fully presentable for our customers. And when you enter the crew room, you notice that it's a large open space where you get to meet all your, all your other colleagues um, that you're about to fly. The first thing that you do is you go to one of the, the computers and log in so you can check the flight information that you're about to operate that day. Then you go and meet the rest of um, the crew that you're going to fly with. Um, and this is um, an opportunity for the cabin manager to check your own personal knowledge of the safety procedures on board the aircraft to ensure that you're fully compliant and fully knowledgeable of what's expected of you on that day. They'll also run through um, any special offers that we've got on board, um, the, the passenger profile, the people that we're carrying, anybody that requires any special assistance, all that information is passed on to you so you can go on board the aircraft fully confident in, in the knowledge um, that you require for that day. Teamwork is vitally important when, you, when you're working on an aircraft. It's a confined space, um, so really getting along with one another is vitally important. Here in Manchester, we have over 800 cabin crew, um, so you don't get to fly with the same people regularly. Sometimes it's a year, maybe two years before you fly with the same people again. In our smaller bases, we have up to 40 or 50 cabin crew, whereby the whole atmosphere is it's a family, so you do fly with the same people um, on a regular basis. My name's Joanne, I used to be seasonal cabin crew for Thomas Cook Airlines and I'm now cabin manager. We do a safety demonstration at the beginning of every flight. For our customers, safety is very important. We show the oxygen and how it's used. We point out the exits. We also demonstrate the life jacket and the safety demonstration card. And then we perform secure of the cabin afterwards. Hi, I'm Nikki. I started off with Thomas Cook Airlines as a seasonal cabin crew member. I'm actually now a cabin manager. I'm still here and that was 20 years ago. When customers book a flight with Thomas Cook Airlines, they have an option to pre-book a meal. They have a meal choice on board. This is offered with tea and coffee. It's a part of the service and it's a part of our daily routine during our flight. And it's also part of a passenger contact as well with the passenger. So one of the services on our flights is we offer our customers duty-free items such as perfumes, aftershaves, gifts, cosmetics and then when we travel outside of the European Union we can also offer the sale of cigarettes and spirits. We've negotiated some fantastic prices to ensure that we are one of the leaders in the aviation industry and also selling duty-free is a great way to interact with the customers on board, have a little bit of banter, have a laugh and also earn as much money as you possibly can because we have commission as well. My best advice to you would be to know the products that we sell inside out and back to front because people buy from confident people so if, if you can be confident about the products that we sell then they will buy from you. The benefits of being a cabin crew member of Thomas Cook Airlines are the different types of people you meet each day, different walks of life. I also get to go to destinations that I would probably have never have gone to and I also get paid for it. That's one thing I've noticed about being cabin crew is that the money is really good. Um, the commission on my last flight was um, £85 and that was one sector on an inbound Mexico flight. Hi, my name's Avine. I'm a cabin manager for Thomas Cook Airlines. So the rosters we get six weeks in advance, so we know what we're working for the next six weeks. It gives you the ability then to plan your lifestyle, um, but do expect changes. However, what doesn't change are your days off and any planned leave. Thomas Cook Airlines in the UK is a part of a much larger group. We have four airlines in total. We've got our German airline Condor, we've also got Thomas Cook Belgium and Thomas Cook Scandinavia. Throughout my career I've had some very, very lucky opportunities, um, one of which I've been to Frankfurt and operated on behalf of Condor, our German airline. Um, I've also taken part in a block of standbys down in Las Palmas 
These standbys were to cover um, any travel disruption that we might have had to our fleet to ensure that our customers do get home or travel to their holidays on time. When you start your training course with Thomas Cook Airlines, it lasts for about five weeks. The training course is great fun, but it is also very intensive. You learn vast amounts of information. But the best part about the training course as well is that you do get paid for the entire five weeks. So what's involved in the training course, you get to learn about the slides on the aircraft, you get taught how to open doors safely in normal operation and also in emergency situations. When we're talking about the slides, you do get to jump down one of our escape slides. It's great fun, 30 feet in the air and it's really, really fast and hopefully it's the one and only opportunity that you'll get to, to do that. We also look at first aid, we, we look at basic um, life support, so you have all the knowledge and, and skills that you know you can take out there into the outside world as well. We get, to, we get taught how to use the defibrillator, the resource kit on board, so you can be safe in the knowledge whilst you are on board the aircraft that you'll have the skills and knowledge um, if you do encounter any first aid situations with us. Fire and smoke is a great day. We get to put on um, jumpsuits and go into a smoke filled cabin with our smoke hoods on. We locate the fire and we learn how we would put that out with the equipment that we learn about. On the life raft day you go down to the swimming pool, you get to do a few lengths and then you learn how to board the life raft, pull your colleagues in and learn how you would survive and use the canopy. It is really great fun but also a lot of hard work and a lot goes into it. You will get out of it what you put into it. There's homework, studying to do, lots and lots to learn and exams on every subject that you're taught on. After the five weeks has passed, you will then have what's called a Wings Day, where you can celebrate your achievement becoming a Thomas Cook Airlines cabin crew member. You can invite all your friends and family along to share in your success, and you also get a video memento of your training so you can look back in many years at all the fun times that you had whilst you were training with us.